Hi everyone, welcome to another video on using a personal development instance on ServiceNow. In this video, we will cover how we will how we can save our work uh, on um, onto GitHub. Uh, one of the reasons uh, one could go uh, for um, for using a GitHub is to um, have uh, whatever work we do on to the personal development instance. Uh, we can have a copy of it in the form of XML onto our GitHub. Uh, and another reason could be uh, uh, there is a uh, if we go through the uh, if we go through the site uh, one can read that if if there is no activity of an instance for more than ten days then the instance will be claimed back. So under these conditions where we lose our uh, instance uh, we would want our data still to be there. So <clears throat> for that reason if we save our work on on the GitHub we can anytime import the data. Uh, from the GitHub back onto a new personal development instance, thereby uh, continuing with our work. So let's start. Uh, I am onto the uh, login page and I am clicking on the start building button. I have my instance open. So uh, we will be developing the application on a studio and uh, the application will be a very dummy application. This particular video is specifically targeting how we can save our, applic uh, our application onto uh, the GitHub. So let's start with it. So for building the application, um, I will be using uh, studio. So studio is available under system applications. I can uh, click on this. It opens into a new tab. Now I have access to the studio. Uh, it will uh, it will tell a list of uh, um, applications that are present already, but we will be creating a new application. And once we create an application, um, then our uh, main focus uh, would be how we can save it onto the GitHub. So if you see this, the status symbol here, it, it specifies that None of this is re, uh, is uh, linked to any of the repository. So this symbol says that it is not linked to the source control. So let's create an application first. And so um, I am giving the name of the application. So I am. I can use existing roles. So I'll tell admin, and let us continue. Let the experience be the classic one. I will select any of the table for the current demo. Uh, status is not ready yet. Uh, the app format you selected earlier ready to be customized. So I'll click on start. So we can go about creating the application now. So our application is created. So uh, we have created an application and in real time we'll be, we'll be adding uh, more data, we'll be adding more tables, we will be customizing our layout. Uh, but for now, uh, let's link this application to the source control. Okay, so our um, application is here. So uh, let us link this application to the source control. So let us see what the what options uh, one one gets to uh, to link the um, the application. So <clears throat> if you see, uh, we have an option for source control on the top left. Once I click on this, I have an option to link to the source control. So once I click on this, I have options. I need to know the URL of my repository. Uh, I need to pass the credentials. Uh, currently, if I load this, I have, uh, I have uh, uh, no credentials. Uh, in the list and then um, and we need to pass what is the initial commit. So firstly, we need to have a repository and then we need to know the credentials that we need to pass. So first 
let's create a repository on the GitHub and then uh, later think about what the credentials we need to pass. So uh, let me create a new repository. Uh, my repository name would be demo app or let's call it as job portal so my my uh, repository is created so this is the conventional way of how we do usually uh, when we are uh, when we build a pro any project from scratch and let's see how it differs from how how service now automates <clears throat> most of this uh, whether we got to um, use this uh, git commands uh, and other stuff so we have uh, so we have the link available for our repository that is this one uh, i will copy this and so i have <clears throat> i have one information now that i can place here right so now it comes to the part of credentials so this credential if you if you need to um, set this up you have to we have a table for it uh, we you can go under connect, uh, connections and credentials under the credentials uh, you can click on the credentials here so once you click here um, we need to create a new record in the credentials table so if you see the table name is discovery credentials list. So uh, we need to create a, a record as part of this table and then that will start reflecting in the studio under this dropdown. So let me create new. Once uh, the way we will be uh, talking uh, to the GitHub here is using the basic auth. So I'll be clicking on the basic uh, authorization credentials. So once we come here, you see we have a list of options. Uh, one is the name. So I'll tell the name as these are my GitHub credentials. And my username is and the password. This is an important thing. The password here is not the password that you usually log in uh, to your uh, github account the password here is more about uh, access to the repository so for this we need uh, access tokens the access developer access tokens mm, is what we place here so let's create that i'll show you how or where we one can find it so we have the repository and uh, you can go into your profile and uh, click on settings mm -hmm. once you click on settings at the top at the bottom left, you will see developer settings. Uh, in the developer settings, you can see the personal access tokens. I'll take a classic one. So uh, there are no personal access tokens currently. So I'll be generating a new personal uh, access token classic. So uh, expiry, uh, we can set the expiry. I am setting the expiry to seven days. You can also set it to an expiration, but it is not recommended. So let me click on seven. And let me take this using this for service now PDI personal development instance. So let me give it access. Depends on the level of access we would we want to give uh, to the users who is using the current personal access token. So I am asking it to generate the credentials. So I have the credentials. Um, I will copy this. Now I will move to the credentials new record that we were using. And I'll paste my credentials here. Once done, if you see this is an active flag, meaning uh, this credential will be, uh, this record will be used. Um, and uh, credential LASS, it does not, uh, we, we don't need it currently and neither does it need an order. So um, let's click on submit button and save the current credentials. Yeah. 
so our github credentials are saved now our next um now we need uh, to uh, check whether the credentials come here yes we have the github credentials coming here so uh, we don't need to fill other optional ones yeah i'll tell initial commit for job portal let's see whether we are successful to link our application to the source control or not so we have successfully committed our work onto the github so now let's cross verify it um on the github so looking into my repositories yeah this was one of the this was the repository and if you see uh, there was a branch name which it gave uh, earlier so it has pushed into that branch um developers can basically review it and make it available onto the main branch so but if you see if i switch to the dev uh, 163141 which is my instance um, i have the files uh, these are the list of files that come uh, whenever we create an application so um, uh, next time uh, suppose uh, due to inactivity if we lose Uh, our instance uh, we can import the application which i will cover in the uh, in the next video so uh, we have cross verified that we are able to uh, save our application onto the github and yeah that's it from the uh, current video uh, in the next tutorial uh, we shall see how we can import the application uh, from a github onto the personal development instance on onto a new person